everyone. I'm Marcy Richardson, and I'm an opera singer, acrobat, pole dancer, and burlesque nightlife entertainer in Brooklyn, New York, and I'm thrilled to be here with World City Festival. We're all part of shaping the future of our cities together, and I'm excited to stand with you, virtually, today. Welcome to my backyard, baby. Time for a show. So this is our home in Bushwick, our neighborhood in Brooklyn where we moved two years ago to be close to the theater where I normally work. We really love it here, so let's go check it out. This is Watson, by the way. Come on, buddy, let's go. Let's get a drink. So this is company XIV. It is, or was, my full-time job here for almost six years. 
and it is a Baroque burlesque theater company that fuses opera, dance, music, ambiance, food, cocktails to give you an over-the-top theater experience. And I hope if you ever make it here in person, we're still around to give you a hell of a show. dive bars, underground sex clubs, to Michelin star rated restaurants. This neighborhood of Brooklyn is known for its graffiti and street art while remaining true to its cultural roots. Heavy Woods is one of our favorite places to get a drink and a snack, so I'm drinking a Paloma and we just had some tater tots. My background is primarily in opera. I started taking voice lessons in high school. I'm from Michigan and I really love pop music, but I discovered I had an affinity for singing classical music. So I went into opera and I got a bachelor's and master's in opera in college. And from there I was really following a really traditional path of a classical singer who was doing my gigs and my side hustles on the side. And then 10 years ago, I picked up pole dancing just for fun. And one thing led to another <laughs> and it totally breathed new life into my career all this time later. So I never intended to have this interesting combination skill set, but here we are. The first time I sang on a pole was actually for Madonna, who as it stands as my lifelong idol and inspiration, she was coming to town auditioning people for her Rebel Heart tour. So her casting directors must have found me on the internet somehow and reached out and said, hey, we noticed that you sing opera and also do acrobatics and pole. Do you think you could prepare something to audition for us singing opera on the pole? And I had actually never tried it before. So I said, you know, what the hell? So the first song I ever sang on a pole was actually for that audition as per their request. They said, why don't you prepare Holy Water from the album Rebel Heart and sing it operatically on the pole. And of course the lyrics are ho to Holy Water are, don't it taste like holy water? Jesus loves my pussy best. And so <laughs> I only had like eight hours to figure this all out. So I met with the composer, my friend Gordon Beeferman, and I said, I have to sing about my pussy on a pole and we put together a quick piano track and then I show up the next day and I'm in the splits on the pole singing like, don't it taste like holy water? Jesus loves my pussy fast, my pussy fast. And of course, by the time Madonna gets into the room and I'm doing this, they didn't prep her for what I was gonna do. So I think she was looking at me like, what the hell is this girl doing? <laughs> I have competed in pole competitions before, yes. Pole competitions are very much like a figure skating competition or gymnastics meet where you create a four minute routine and you're judged on like artistic merit, level of difficulty, artistic expression, it's a whole thing. Like just like people who enter a marathon as a goal for themselves, I enter pole competitions and I got really good because if you wanna win, you have to be awesome. So I trained really hard and I won some awards. And from there, people started noticing I was getting really good at this other thing and they started asking, do you ever try singing and doing pole, but yes, I have competed very successfully, I might add. Some tips I have for aspiring burlesque performers. Number one, it is all about confidence and freedom. For me, if I'm gonna take my top off on stage, it's not even necessarily a sexual thing. It's about freedom. It's about feeling comfortable in my skin. You know, what's the first thing you do when you get home from work? You take off your bra, you take off your work clothes. So for me, it's just an expression of confidence and freedom. So number one, be confident in whatever it is that you're doing. Number two, tell a story. Burlesque isn't just about stripping or seduction. It can be, but there's so many ways to be creative with it and tell a story. Incorporate your special skills. I would definitely say sit down and make a list 
of skills that you have that you might not think would go together. For me, it was singing, pole dancing, acrobatics, burlesque. You wouldn't think those things would all go together. So sit down and make a list. You know, maybe you are an excellent cook. Maybe you're really great with animals. Maybe you ride a unicycle. Maybe you juggle. I don't know what it is, but make a list of everything that makes you unique and special and sit with it for a while and you never know it might segue itself into a niche that you never even thought of before and that works for burlesque and it can work for other aspects of your life and career as well to do your best to find your own unique voice it's so amazing to be inspired by other people but really sit down and find out what is unique about you what do you have to say don't copy somebody else be your most authentic self the best part about living in bushwick is that it's kind of like sesame street around here Everything I could possibly need is within a three block radius. Not just the theater where I normally work, but if you're tired or hungry after a show, you can head next door to the Johnson's, which is a total dive bar. But they have this burger shack inside called Strange Flavors. They have the best burger I have ever tasted. You wash it down with a painkiller, which is actually frozen pina colada. Very well known in the neighborhood. Most of the bars here have their own version. Across the street from that is Artichoke Pizza, also a total dive. My husband loves the seafood slice from there. And then across the street from all of that is a more upscale restaurant called Sea Wolf. We love their seafood tower, oysters, half price bottles of wine. They also have their own version of a painkiller. A few blocks from there is Pearls. So on a hot summer day or if I'm walking my dog, I love to stop by Pearls for Flosé. If I want anything from my apartment, I love the Bushwick Market, fun to check out on the weekends. I got my vintage bike from there, the picnic table that's in my backyard. Sometimes when you're shopping, you get a visit from Mimi, this adorable three pound chihuahua that hangs out there. You know, even grocery shopping here is fun. A couple blocks away, we have Fresh Market, and I've gotten to know some of the employees there, and they were actually featured on the front page of the New York Times for being one of the most resilient and well-run grocery stores during the pandemic. I just love living here.